Welcome back, everybody, to Anderson's TV. Hola. And today, you'd be forgiven for looking at this going, why is Lee wearing an Italian football shirt? Well, so I say a football shirt. Uh, I'm just going to say that despite the fact that this video is probably about six weeks after our um, uh, unfortunate defeat in the <laughs> European Championship Sorry. finals, uh, a bet's a bet. And I had a bet with uh, Mark Agnesi of Gibson, who is of Italian yeah. descent. And a, that, an authentic uh, bet. <laughs> yes. Uh, that if England won the final, he would have to do an episode of Gibson TV wearing an England shirt. And if Italy won, I would have to do an episode on Anderton's TV wearing an Italy shirt. So here it is, a bet's a bet. What we didn't agree uh, was what the video would be. So what we're doing is why PRS guitars are so much better than Gibson. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Don't worry, Mark. No, we like, ah, we are doing uh, a uh, Bugera video. Yes. Uh, our First it's, time. It's our virgin uh, trial yeah. of uh, Bugera amplifiers. Yeah, that's it. But for, um, before, before we start, Lee, before we start, before we start, if Mark Ignacy was here today, you know what he would say? He would say, he would please say, authentically like and subscribe <laughs> to the Authentic Andertons uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, that's exactly what he'd say. And he'd probably say hey, something like, is it a, <laughs> a, a, a I can't remember. Something to do with the Azuri. Is it a Adami? I can't remember. It's whatever Italian is for, come on, let's go. Adami, 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 or something I think really? they shout. But well done, Italy. Here we go like this. Italy. Well done, Italy. Uh, you're deserved winners. You had a great tournament. And hey, uh, everybody, well done to the England side as well. You did amazingly. <laughs> okay, so Bigera <laughs> amplifiers. Um, this is a range that um, is, a, basically, it's the name that Behringer give to their valve guitar amplification range. Yes. Uh, and as you guys probably know with Behringer stuff, they're well known for doing some of the most insane value uh, musical kit yeah. in the it's universe. Insane. Um, over the last 15 or 20 years, um, there is a, a, a Behringer set up a parent company called Music Tribe that have acquired many, many, many famous brands um, and sort of amalgamated, well, not amalgamated, they sort of... It's an umbrella. It's like an umbrella company, but they, they, Ella, they, Ella. they, there's a lot of, you see a lot of crossover technology. So <laughs> brands like, you know, for example, obviously you've got Turbo Sound, very yeah. famous sort of, you know, speaker manufacturer. You've got brands like TC, Midas, yeah. Clark Technic, all these famous brands. And you sometimes see this kind of, you know, amalgamation of technology going into other products. So it's a huge operation with the most amazing state of the art manufacturing um, facilities out in the They can make East. anything. And it, it is. Kind of insane. So, this range of guitar amplifiers is the Bugera V series. V stands for... Vintage. Vintage. A bit like us. Yes. We're getting there. <laughs> um, there are three combos in the range, plus a couple of heads, which are sort of um, exact versions of these combos. Yeah. Got this crazy V5 here, which is a little Class A single-ended EL84 driven um, guitar combo. Yeah. It sells for under 200 pounds. Oh. Bit nuts. We've yeah. got a V22. Yeah. which is a, has a pair of EL84s in it and a 12 inch speaker it gives us 22 watts. It's dual channel, a couple of other cool features. Yeah, and then and the, the 606 version. Yeah, the big daddy uh, is the 55, 55 watts. Watt. Yeah, two channels and reverb and boostage and, boost and all sorts. And pedals and really clever um, system when you have a tube in there on the back of it, there's a little line there. So if a tube fails, What's it called again? The the uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but basically, if you if a tube fails, you can put any old tube in there and it auto bias it. That's so you clever. just it's really really That's clever. clever. Well, yeah. look, we'll go through these features. Let's go in ascending order. Should we start with this one? You and then... start with it. Yes. Okay. What we did also decide to do was Pete has a very professional setup. <laughs> you know, he's got his really expensive Les Paul and he's got his really expensive pedal board. Yeah. And so you're kind of seeing what can you achieve if you have a fairly professional rig with the um, with these amps. Yeah. And I've gone super affordable. So I've got a, um, a classic vibe here. I'm going to plug in this cool Epiphone Les Paul Classic. And I've got my um, very affordable pedal board on the floor. So I've got, yeah. I'm using a TC a Plethora X5 with a couple Plethora. of drive pedals. Yes. Plethora. There's a plethora it, it, of uh, effects within it. It's not plethora. Right. Plethora? Plethora. It's a plethora, isn't it? I don't know. Plethora? Probably. So, let's start <laughs> with the, the V5. This uh, is £189. It's nuts, right? It's nuts. For a tube um, amp. 
For a class A single ended, so that means it runs off a single EL84 in the power section. Um, has tubes in the preamp section as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, uh, well, no, no, there is switching, but it's to do with attenuation rather than channel switching. Yeah. So we've got a gain controller, tone controller, volume and a reverb. And if I switch all my pedals off on the floor here, here we go. which is much, much fuller and bigger sounding than I thought it was going to be because quite often when you try these little five watt smaller yeah. speaker kind of combos, yeah. they don't sound great. It's great, isn't it? What, what is not to like about that? Um, Obviously I don't have channel switching, so I can either sort of crank the gain and compensate with the volume here or use pedals. So I'm gonna just crank the gain for the time being. Ah, that actually sounds better than I thought it would again. Not a great deal of gain in there. There'd be no. more gain if I was to use um, a guitar yeah, with yeah, humbuckers exactly, or yeah. something. But I suspect that where this will be most popular will be with players who have some pedals. So here I've got my favorite sort of Nobles ODR1 on the floor. Man, nothing wrong with that. Less reverb. Yeah, I was just about to say the reverb in here is not it's not a spring, is it? In any I don't think any of these have spring, it's all digital. Yeah. yeah. Which would sound um, good. It's a good yeah. um, So here's a, a something I like to do. I like to do that. I with, like to uh, do that. I put a, a Zeus sort of <laughs> clon style overdrive into the um ODR one. <laughs> You know and what, that sounds decent, man. Oh, good, it sounds and the, good, actually. The, the reason I like the plethora as well is I've now, for, you know, again, for about 300 quid, I've got a zillion effects that I can just... So that's great pretty well, much it? what oh, we can do with this. You might be going, now obviously a five watt valve amplifier, 100%, if you crank the gain, you crank the volume, gets pretty crazy loud. Uh, you see a lot of guitar players, like slide players and stuff like that, will go for these like, you know, five watt smaller speaker yeah. amplifiers, purely and simply to gun everything. And then it gives you that very angry, um, distorted guitar tone. Now what is on the back of this is a, a three-way attenuator. So I currently oh. have it in five watt mode. I can drop it to one watt mode. Uh, it's just, Good bedroom let me sounds tell, there. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'm just gonna leave the drive pedal on. Huh? You could almost talk over that. Well, huh? I wonder if the next one you can. T so this is now it's half watt mode. There you go. Definitely talk over that. It's great. <laughs> so I've got to be honest with you. It, I think it looks great. You've got this kind of nice quality handle on the top. That's sort of like a faux leather covering. You've got Phew. all the sort of gold beading and the nice grill. Yeah, and man. Look, it's crazy. Um, it is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, you look at anything with a brand on it, you know, Marshall, Fender, whatever, and you're playing double Ooh, at least. Absolutely. I would have thought for, for the same kind of thing. Yep. So look, that's the um, that's the five. Yeah. Uh, rather than you have to, you know, endure more oh, of my playing, 
Well, let's, oh, do you want to jump straight into Let's jump straight then? to the 55 and then we'll do let's the 25. Do um, uh, let's we'll do, do the 22, sorry, last. Let's do that, Lee. So, little foot switch here on the top, so you can see that I can comes turn with my it, reverb right? comes with it. Uh, and a channel switcher for the two different channels. You've got two inputs on the front. You've got a normal and a bright mode. Uh, you got. You can also switch the channels with a little switch there. And then you've got a further along a boost switch as well. That's, so that's more like a mid boost, isn't it? Yeah, it's more like... I would have liked it to come maybe with a three foot switch, so you, maybe yep. you had, I don't know if it, do, maybe it does, uh, maybe you can get that, but then Not you can, you can like put no. the boost in, that'd be Not cool. Fine, anyway, yeah, and yeah. otherwise you have to go over and do that. Um, and so if you look, you've got cha uh, one channel here and then another channel here, you've got bass, mid, treble and presence, so a lot of, you know, like a vintage style amplifier. Um, and then you have got a presence and the reverb at the end there, standby and par. Stand by. Stand by Effects loop in the back. Um, it's, a, it's an open back cabinet with a 12 inch turbo sound speaker in it. Exactly. Exactly the same as the other ones, but this is 6L6s where that is not. So, 55 watts. And I like to do start with everything at 12 o'clock. Here's the clean. Just. Nothing wrong with that. So there also, really isn't, just is mention uh, there's a little uh, trio pentold switch in the back here, which essentially you focus the sounds a bit, doesn't it? When when you it, when you higher gain. Um, well, let me just demonstrate. Let's try out here. And then pentold there. I believe it's referring to how it makes the valves work. Yeah. You can have a triode mode or a pento mode. It's pento, something with Yeah, pento things. gives you the maximum volume yeah. and the brightest sound. Triode gives you um, more sort of a dampening effect, so less volume and, a, and takes away some of that brightness, which particularly on driven sounds people might prefer. Uh, but it's still easy speak. for, I think it is on the drive channel, it's really obvious what's happening. So. Can you hear that? What's the that? keyboards clicking. <laughs> or what people telling us what Pento and Trio does. Yeah, didn't you know that? It was like, no, I don't know that. I like the sound of that better than that one. That's how it how kind of go. But so you can definitely hear. The volume changes dramatically when mm. I switch it. And the fatness and the yeah. brightness. That, so if I, I go back to pen, to pen, That so feature, got the, by the way, is on both the 22 yeah, so and let me the turn, 55. Let me turn that down a bit. So the mask... Cranking the I like the reverb in here, man. It's, it's great, isn't it? Let's go full reverb. So we do treble. Okay. Oh, it's good, man. Let me see if I can get some gain out of this channel just for fun. Turn the master down. Oh, Click. I see what you do. And then maybe hit the boost. So you can get some, you get a bit of gain out of that, out of that first channel. There's loads. Um, I don't want to try. I mean, this is the first time I plug into this, so, uh, which means you get the authentic, you know, first impression. Let's try to plug it into bright here and see what happens. Tons of volume in this, isn't it? So wow. Much volume. 
that's I, any, anyone that's ever had a 50 watt valve amplifier yeah, like, again, if you're if you're again if you're kind of new to the valve thing just throw every comparison between 50 watt solid state and 50 watt valve you, you know or not throw the comparisons out well that's not what i mean but just you, we we the general consensus i think now is that 200 odd watts worth of solid state is maybe something like 50 watts worth of valve you know it's, just, it's kind of crazy yeah but you've got campus is 600 watts you know ice pack camp yeah. amp in there whatever mm. and it's just not it's you can't really compare those two mm. things there's also a feel Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. I don't think on that guitar, it, I think it is a quite a mid boost accentuated yes, thing, and I is. think with the Les Paul, you've probably got enough already. You've got enough. Yes. You've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> no more for you. Uh, okay, so let's quick just put a pedal on, just because I've got the Dane, so we know how that sounds. <laughs> And plenty of volume in there. I mean, the clean is on three, master's on about four. So that's enough. Uh, let's go to channel two, so the drive channel. Certainly a different kind of drive, it's a, isn't it? It's a bit brighter and a bit harsher sounding. Yeah, I think, yes. I think you, what you've demonstrated well there is that. You know, those pedals are what, two or three hundred pound distortion pedals, the same as the, drive yeah. pedals. <laughs> so I kind of feel like you'd expect them to, to be a better sound. But it's a just yeah. maybe it's just a different sound. But it's the same as the, you know, go back to the Hot Watt Deluxe. Mm. Uh, versus, yeah, that's true. Versus 45 or whatever it is now. It, the, the second, the gain channel in there, the drive channel, is not really... It's not it, really smooth, it's, is it's it? It's not really for... It's, I feel like it's a bit similar like this. It's usable. But mm. I'd rather put a pedal, yep. in, in my opinion. I'd rather have a guitar, you know, have a whatever. You can I, even I get a Durple or something. I wonder what a you know? slightly dirty second channel is with just one of the sides of well, the... Well, well, let's, well, well, let's well, well. Let's find out. Maybe more Drive? Than, yeah. Let's try the boost, but turn the, the lows down. Maybe not. They've, they're all still slightly trebly, aren't they? What's yeah. the blue side of the protein? That's better, good. better. Yeah. yeah. Still, you know, it's 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 good to have because you've got I just it in think the amp. It's bonkers. It, it, let's put this in perspective, right? Yeah. That 55 watt uh, valve combo there. Is cheaper than the classic vibe strap. Yeah, it's cheaper it's, than the protein. It's the same. It's rough. It's similar dough to the protein. It's a little bit dearer than. The, but it's like <laughs> you know, really, you know, when we're normally, if you look at the amps behind us here, there's nothing really here that would give you any change out of a thousand quid. Well, the Laney. Are, the Laney. Yeah, that's true. The yeah. Laney. But you know, the Victories and the Oranges and the Bad Cats and all the stuff yeah, that we normally all, use is all sort of between a thousand yeah. and two thousand pounds. And I like the way because I'm a, I like single channel amps really, yes. and, and then put the pedals in, and you can create your own soundscape, and mm. you can find your sound with that. There, you there know. are, by the way, and videos for these are coming. There are other, there are lots of other amps in the Bagheera range. Oh yeah, uh, this is these are the most traditional vintagey ones. If you want something more along the lines of like a triple rec or a fifty one fifty or whatever, you know, they do that kind of style yeah. of amp as well. So we'll come to. I those feel like we should compare day. this to a Hot Rod Deluxe, you know. 
That for me is what this is sounding most like, and even Completely. the feature set I think is the most like a, a yeah. With deluxe. The, you've got two inputs, and yeah. then you've got you know you've got your effects loop. You've got your has it got a boost on it? I think it does, doesn't it? Well, it's kind of got a more drive. It's isn't got it? so yeah, it's, but it's, it's still a, the same, isn't it? It's just more drive. Yeah, it's, I feel it's like even the layout looks very yeah. much like it. Yeah. See, so we can dig our blues, uh, our our one out somewhere that we yeah. uh, change all the speakers in. Anyway, uh, where do we go? So you get more gain on it. Let's show that let's pento get, triode yeah. mode. So thing. let's do a little bit more gain. So. So now we go down to pen triode. A bit more squishy. Yeah, isn't a bit I more squishy. It, I think. I think then you can you can kind of put a bit more gain in it when it's when it's on that. <laughs> I mean, it's more, it's not a you modern know, kind of uh, You know drive, the question is here, isn't it? What this, is the question? This isn't, do you 42. buy a Fender Hot Rod or do you buy a Bugera? Because the price difference is so enormous. Oh, and absolutely. Just, you know, there's a, probably an element of um, a bit more kudos with Fenders and Marshalls. I get that. You buy the brand. The, the thing here is, do you buy a Boss Katana 100 or one of these? <gasps> and that is going to have to be a shootout for another day. Wow, so, you know, that's really, true. I didn't think about that. think about the amount of solid state, whether it's like Orange Crush or Marshall Code or, or Katana or whatever. Or do you, you know, so do, do you, you have buy these? tons and tons of features, but with a solid state kind of vibe to it or a digital vibe to it? Or do you just go all valve and not too many features? I think I know which way I feel like I would tend to lead. Oof. Lean, even. And you probably know the answer to that if you've watched a few Anderson's videos. I mean, this is a great clean sound as well. I'm surprised how good it takes the pedal. That's just a day. Can we hear it with you know? like a something, a Silver Sky yeah, yeah. or, or we can a, do. a Strat or we something? Can, we certainly can. All right, so flew in my lap here. Uh, John Mayer just came in and left again, <laughs> but he, you didn't see him on the camera. He's just said, he said hello, by the way. I don't know if we got an arm on here, because he never does. Well, it, 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 there it is. I mean, you can start going. Dancing, that's. Bit more reverb, yes. I'm not gonna play more because then and we get close no down. And that's no pedals, right? That's literally. That's straight in it. We've got a bit of pedal. I don't know what to say, man. I mean, there's it's, not much it's to like, say. I mean, you—that is a perfectly good beginner. Uh, be, as a beginner, you—if you, you want to go from the next step to, to you say like a, a Master Code or or these Vox Cambridge, all that stuff. But you want to go into a, a, a the world of tubes and or valves. I don't think. Yeah, beginner's not the right. I was gonna. I was gonna say that. I think you could have that on stage, up against a Hot Rod yeah. Deluxe, up against the Marshall Origin. Uh, whatever, and just sit and go. That's fine. Sounds just as good. You've got all yeah. those. You've got all the if features. If you're a valve amp fan, and you like it? the feel and all that kind of stuff. It's just how do they do it's it? Crazy. Man? Well, how do they do it? I mean, to a certain extent, I don't know um, how easy it is to find the video. But if you, if you look, there's a, there is a, a music tribe video that shows you the factory, and if you just want to see crazy state of the art you know, manufacturing, which must bring the cost of manufacturing yeah, stuff down just because they're so, so yeah. slick. They, they 
there's, it's such a massive operation as well. They make all their own components. Yeah. So they're not even necessarily <laughs> buying in other people's components. So no. all of that so has to, yeah. to um, Maybe they'll sell those components the to other price. people and then they that's what they do. Uh, there's a video of Josh Smith doing these as well, apparently. Is there? Oh. Right, so finally then, the 22, 22. one. Now, um, we didn't talk about price of the 55. So the, the 55 is about 350 quid and the 22 is about Two what? Nine, two ninety nine. Three hundred fifty quid. Yeah. So you might, in fairness, be going. Well, that doesn't sound like a great deal extra for the fifty five. So surely you, everybody buys the fifty five, right? But that's where you're into this idea of going. No, because an EL eighty four amplifier <laughs> with twenty two <coughs> watts. No, I don't think it's. A, I mean, no, it's also heavier. The, I mean, it's a bigger and heavier. You know, people, yeah, but not by. So all of these are relatively heavy, apart from yeah, the, the five. You know, the, these are. You know. Any valve, like big transformers, speakers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. They are, they are quite heavy. Not yeah. crazy heavy, but no, no, no. we'll we'll Too put the, the weight in <laughs> uh, the specs on our website. You go check it out. But anyway, what I was going to say is, if you look at different amp sounds and technologies over the years, the the power and the type of oh. valve they use is more about the tone it creates rather than necessarily this idea that one's better than the other or one's louder yeah. than the other. So there's not going to be a great deal of volume difference between a 55 watt amplifier and a 22 watt valve amplifier. No. Uh, they're both gigging amplifiers. There'll be a small difference because the cabinet size is a difference. So the, the bigger the cabinet, normally the, the bassier and bigger and it's more open, it sort of sounds. Um, but the EL 84s, which are a very sort of synonymous, I suppose, with making Vox amplifiers uh, and the slightly smaller uh, cabinet size, yeah. will probably give it more of like an AC15 kind of vibe, than, oh. whereas that'll be more sort of hot rod deluxe kind of vibe. Yeah. A lot of some old Marshalls from the, you know, the 60s and the 70s would have used the L84s True. as well. But anyway. I wonder so, if you can swap those tubes out with the, the v, 6 V6s, because then no. it'll be like a... EL84s are a different pin. Oh, that's a different pin. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, that would be like more like a Princeton, wouldn't it? Yeah, you could put six L6s, six V6s and six L6s are the same yeah. pin configuration. Oh. So maybe, I don't know. Look, I don't want to start telling you to change changing valves. No, no, no. Because then you that, might die, um, so don't do that. Well, and check with a technician. <laughs> anyway, so um, here we go. Here is the 22. <laughs> No, no pedals. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Even brought the lick out. Um, so that's <laughs> its clean tone. Again, a little bit like Pete was saying, why don't we just crank that clean tone a little bit and see... That's when the EL84s uh, are different, isn't it? A bit, maybe in, when in I game, start to turn the, game, the, yeah. the, the volume up. I'm not actually probably using the right guitar to start to send this into overdrive. So even with the clean maxed out here... So wow I'll, I'll put the les paul in, in a minute um if i switch over to the second channel and i believe this comes with the same foot switch that the 55 does so back. again you can do that as well here we go so now we got um some gain <laughs> I prefer what, the gain of this one. What would be useful, actually, Pete, is if you can yeah. set up a gainy channel on there and just do a G chord, and then yeah. maybe people will see, kind of. Whoa, it's a bit loud. Is that so loud? So, wow. There you go. You got that. Oh, I got the. Sorry, I got the. Okay, so you we've got the gain. And the, the gain, I've got about three. You've got about three. The master, about three as well, right? So let's yeah. so here you go. So you do your G chord. On the neck, neck pick, up. pick The, the bit mid-range. Yeah, before I the tonality. Pentode or trio? So we're, yeah, we, were, we were both in pentode. pentode there. If I switch mine to triode. I'll take mine to triode too. Let's see what happens here. Stay on that neck pickup. <coughs> I think it is just that there's a small 
tone difference there where the, the 55 is just a bit more bass heavy and a little bit less mid-range in funny, there. funny, I feel like that's more bass heavy where I'm sitting. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, a lot of that could just be sitting slightly off access and, and seeing access. Like Jimmy Hendrix seeing. likes to do and yes. just like sit off, off access. Um, right, let's drive the gain a bit more on this and just sit. I mean, again, none of the, these are vintage sounding amplifiers. They're not designed to be, you know, high gain. That's quite, although that's plenty of gain for a rock and roll band. I'm, I'm actually... It's good, man. I'm actually blown away. I, I mean, it's, it's like, how... It's I'll gonna be, make that for the money. It's going to be the, quite my, difficult, I think, the next time we get another brand of amp, you know, Blackstar, Fender, Marshall, whatever, that is twice the price, to really go, why? I mean, why? I don't know. Yes, wow. But I, I mean, that... that the, the 22 there is definitely my f sort of sonical favourite out of them. Sonical? Is that a word? I don't think it so, is now. but I like it. Sonical um, favourite. Bo boost <laughs> the, return in. Of, the return of the sonical. I'm just going to say again, I, you know, I think it's good that we're critical. I'm not a big fan of the frequency that the boost is doing on either of these amplifiers. It, for me, it makes it a bit honky. I'm again, not a, I feel exactly the same as the Hot Rod Deluxe. I feel that's what I feel right. with, the, with the second channel and the, and the more gain. Just, but, uh, it's the same. Yeah, it's I like, don't like it. It's kind of... I've maybe just, it's a gigging I'll thing. Have, I'll have, maybe it, if you've got a bass player and a keyboard player, and maybe it just gives you a little bit extra in that zone. But... It, yeah. On its own, I'm not. I don't. I, I like it without. But that's no pedals, nothing. I, I mean, I, I, I am. I do think that where this amplifier really, really is just an exceptional choice is someone that wants a good pedal platform amplifier. Yeah, you, you know, can I run really that in the effects loop. You, yeah, you got effects loops on the on the the two bigger yeah. ones. I mean, that's as good a sounding guitar sound as I think you can... For that money, you yeah, can't can expect you, can, anything better can than expect, that. Yeah, really, but... Absolutely. Try, try, so, some, uh, try with the... Uh... Yeah, let's try the... Okay, so we're back to a clean sound. This is just a, a Epiphone Les Paul Classic, which is one of the more affordable Epiphones yeah, as well. Yeah, 450 quid or something Amazing. Like that. Uh, where am I? I am on the clean channel now. Again, back on is the clean channel. Is there any channel. lights there? That, 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 no, kind of... that's a bit annoying as well, isn't it? So that you, you, can, you, you can have see to have it that... on the foot switch where there is. Otherwise, you've just got to you Yeah, that would be nice with a little is. light there. Honestly, how much was that again? Two what? Two ninety nine. <laughs> I mean, it is bonkers. You, it is bonkers when you think about Shut the front door. how much we rave about how good classic vibe guitars are for the money, yeah. and they're all sort of three fifty, four hundred quid. Yeah. And we rave about how great certain pedals are at yeah. you know, two hundred and fifty quid or whatever like that. It's pretty and that's difficult. Two hundred ninety nine quid yeah. and a four hundred and fifty. I mean, the only guitar. the only thing again, you. you got to I suppose with and again I'll do some more tones in a minute you have to accept with valve amplifiers is that the very nature of the technology in a valve amplifier is a little bit fragile so valves themselves if you're not familiar with them you know that the technologically not that different to an old-fashioned light bulb no and so you you know what happens if you're uh, if you look after your valves and you know a little sprinkle of luck as well you can have a set of valves last for 20 years and no you know you never change do, anything. you should change them for every year in a valve amp even if you used it or not. It's, that's the, that's the, do you know what, it's funny, that's the get, general thing, you've changed them every year, you know. You, yeah, even that, you know, you'll get some players that actually like the characteristic of their guitar amplifier as the valves are worn in. I do agree that, uh, you know, we get them in here, you know, we'll periodically, particularly on the amps that we use a lot, it feels to me like every 18 months or so, we'll just revalve them yeah. because you notice that you get a little bit of loss of volume and a little bit of loss of, loss of clarity. Yeah. But again, some people actually don't even notice that and don't even mind that. 
I mean, you, you absolutely do hear also of people who have valves that become faulty. And, oh, yeah, blue um, lights and they go... Yeah, and, and, and then you do have to, to change them for new ones. But again, what's kind of cool on the back of the, the Behringer amplifiers, I'm which you, yeah. uh, is that Remember. there is basically a light to tell you whether if your, if your valve is faulty yeah. and it needs changing. And then you can literally put in a valve. and Because normally when you have to buy a valve, you, get, you buy valves and it has a little number on it there. And they're match set, with two valves in there, four so you get a match set and then you have to buy rebias it. And if you don't know what you're doing in an open valve, you know, yeah. an open amp, I've do just done it on on that one there and you have to find these two little points and you have to have them thing on the measurement there. It's, so it's it's not easy. It's very clever. You know. It's very clever. Anyway, so um, that sounds great man. This is bit of gain with, on the back pick with Let's a distortion pedal. That was pedals. If we go to the gain channel, um, I've got it at number four. That's it's again the same thing. Pentode mode. Let's go triode. I'm not to, so keen on that overdrive sound, yeah. but, that, but it's. Fine. Not keen on it. I just think, as you say, it's got a little bit of that top end hair so, yeah, his, on it that, his, that you uh, don't end, yeah. typically get with a good pedal. Yeah. Um, lots of gain. So we're going up to number eight now, and I'll just compensate a little bit. It's going a bit fuzzy now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's probably as much because I'm using a pickup, you know, guitar with humbuckers and... Yeah, no, you're... I like your right. vibrato, man. I, that, that you got that going on, but it's like a, it's almost like a Gary Moore kind of. Uh, um, what's the what was the stair, what was the um, Parisian walkways kind of? Uh, yeah, was that kind of, lots of all the tone back down. I don't know. My I always think vibrato wise, the guy that I always feel like influenced I was talking me about the sounds, but Clapton. Yeah, yeah, you're right. In yeah, terms you've of, got Clapton, haven't you? Um, it's the whole hand. I mean, I think the best sounds are no, the no people back going to down. his gigs. But, uh, yeah. Was, anyway, go. <laughs> This is the the tone all the way back yeah. down on the note. What's that? Yeah, nice low. It's almost like a woman tone, isn't it? It is. Uh, look. Anyway, anyway, we digress now. I don't really know. I think there's not, there's not much to say. They're great for the money. It's probably difficult to find anything that's got. That's well, well, let's let's you know. I really really feel like we should criticize it more. Uh, and I you know, just because it's we criticize. I mean, the, it's well, when, no I say, when I say criticize it, critique no. it. So yeah, you're right. There's, there's no, no channel switching light, which light, is a bit yeah, annoying. Which, which you could have done with. You you you've got to kind of accept that it's a little bit <laughs> blingy. Blingy, you know, gold, the gold logo on the front may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I quite like this two-tone black and cream kind of vibe. Yeah, that looks good. The, it reminds me a little bit of uh, actually of the of the bad cat stuff that doesn't yeah. have that, or, or like um, a it's, Mr. Boogie. It's way better made than I thought it was going to be. The quality is good. Like it the, feels the, nice. The, the covering and the handle and all that yeah. kind of stuff is nicer than I, I thought it I mean, I don't like be. the little turbo logo. If I have to criticize something, turbo but sound again, logo. But again, I think that's, you can understand why uh, Behringer want to make sure people know there's a turbo sound speaker in there. Yeah, because they're a speaker, speaker. company. Um, yeah. And they're good. 
And it, all those little things like the attenuator in here, the triode pentode modes, and yeah. the, the, the valve warning lights on the back and stuff. Yeah. Effects so bi biasing. Mad. To, yeah. Well, hey, I mean, comments away below. Maybe, in fact, I'll tell you what would be useful because Bagheera amps have been around for 10 years or more. It's just that Anderson's hasn't stopped them. So maybe you had one and you want to write your experience of having one in the in the comment section below. Why not? Um, or just what do you think of the sounds that we've had in this in this video? I, but, uh, I yes. I'm in color me impressed. Is that another color thing? Color me impressed. Oh, uh, color me pink. Is. In this um, case, so there you go. Uh, I, we, we will uh, we, we we have these in stock now. So dive on over to the Andersons website. Uh, it's free shipping inside the UK. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. That's I, I, I I mean, but if I you know, if, uh, I, I think, think the volume. one that's probably surprised me the most is that one. Yeah, I was kind of expecting to think that we should get some decent tones like this, but often you try these. Who, who was it? Um, like even the, even the little Fender uh, Champ is, is... Oh, that was the is, one where we went to crank quite, it. That's quite tough to get a good sound out Unless of, you crank the whole thing. Yeah, whereas this seemed easier to, to get a, a decent sound out of low There volume. you go. Hey, right, there anyway, enough babbling. Uh, are enough we done? Jabber. Are we done? We're done. Right, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you guys Like and subscribe. Time. See you. Bye. Congratulations, Italy, again. I don't really mean that.